in your soul. The turtle cotton net was never meant to be bought and sold. Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Native Voice TV. I'm Sundas Martinez. And I'm Siwa Billy Rose Amador, and together we are Native Voice TV. We are the indigenous people. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, I forgot my line. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it happens. I wasn't going to say that anyhow. All right. Because well, I was going to talk about the museum we went to in Washington, D.C. Oh, yeah, that museum was fantastic. I mean, that was so inspirational. Let me elaborate on this. One of the reasons why I, I really enjoyed that museum the is... The food. No, oh. not the food. <laughs> Those little <laughs> pumpkin things are good. <laughs> Those pumpkin things are good. Uh -huh. But one of the reasons I like that museum is because they portrayed all the Indians from Alaska all the way down to Chile. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, and it, you it could see... It was all indigenous Yeah, it was all indigenous. It was more of an indigenous rather than Native American where it was just stuck in one region. That's one of the reasons why I enjoyed it so much. It was good. I liked the food, of course. I always liked food. <laughs> but they had this really cool um, restaurant where they had uh, native food oh, from yeah. different regions. You know, what was, and it was, they had the, what, the Udo's Aztec, or, Udo, or what do they call oh. it, Udo Aztec, or something. Well, they yeah. had South American Indian food, North American Indian food, Plains mm -hmm. Indian food, mm -hmm. uh, Southwest. It, it was, was really great. nice. Yeah. It was great. It was really unique. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoyed that. It was a, a beautiful museum. Not enough time, kind of did the whirlwind tour yeah. because we didn't have much time, but it was really nice. I wish we would have had more time, but we, you know, this was the, that whole thing with, at DC when we won that award. You just want to mention that one more time. Yeah. Where's that thing? <laughs> I brought it. No. Yeah, okay, I know you carry <laughs> it, it right with here. you. He does, he does. He carries his little plaque <laughs> around. Got but, a you picture know, of it. <laughs> it's almost, it's holiday time time for shopping and uh, we have some very talented native people oh, a young goodness. lady in particular that has a unique business so with us from inspired visions would you please introduce yourself hi um, my name is Alexis Augustine I'm from inspired visions um, I'm Navajo Cochiti in San Domingo Pueblo and I just started my own business and what is that business, Inspired Visions? Um, basically, right now we're selling uh, jewelry, but we're going into fashion lines with um, jackets and uh, blazers um, and hats and any type of accessories, as well as um, canvas art, as well as music um, within uh, cultured women, like people of uh, women of culture, women who have something to say in, with through art. And you say we. Now, mm -hmm. are there a group of women that work with you? Yeah, there's a group of women right now. We have four. Um, my cousin, Irma Trujillo, who is uh, the business partner of me. And then my cousin, Alyssa Augustine, who's a DJ. And another cousin of mine who is Nico Duran. And mm -hmm. she's a traditional dancer. And she does beadwork. And she's also an artist herself. Wow. Got okay, everything covered. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, so that's basically my, my foundation of my team right uh -huh. now. And what gave you the idea of doing this? Why did you go into this business? I um, I really wanted to um, uh, go about change through art. And I think art was one of the uh, greatest mediums for people to have a um, uh, connection with. You know, whether it be, you know, something that's painted. There, there's famous painters that, you know, um, people from all cultures know and who all kind of have a uh, similar um, views and um, ideas about what they're trying to say with their art. Mm -hmm. And you know, it speaks for itself without having to say any words. So right. that was a big part. You also have like a clothing line too. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we're starting, um, we're probably uh, getting that together by say the beginning of February. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably be coming out with that then. And right now we're just focusing on uh, jewelry and um, accessories at the moment. Mm. Why don't you give us a little bit of background? Now, you lived on a reservation for part of your life, and was yeah. that in, what, New Mexico? Or? New Mexico. I live in uh, San Domingo, um, Cochiti Pueblo, and also Naizi in New Mexico. So I grew up within those three places mm -hmm. um, as a child. And then my family was in the Army. Um, my, my, dad, my stepfather and my real father were both in the Army, so we traveled for about a good three years. We lived in Germany. Mm -hmm. And then we um, moved out here to the West Coast, uh, San Pedro first, and then we moved up here to the Bay Area. 
So you spark and see Dutch, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, yeah, I remember yeah. as a kid, Germany and it being really cold and <laughs> really <laughs> green and, you know, that was fun. Yeah. And you said your family's artistic? Yeah, um, my mom's an artist. She's done, um, she does Indian corn hustle, she does beadwork, oh, wow. uh, she's a dancer herself. Um, and I grew up in powwows, you know, setting up booths and, you know, watching the booth with my mom, mm -hmm. you know, had to go make her rounds and socialize and, you know. Yeah. So I, so I grew up in that This is a natural for you then. Yeah, I definitely grew up in this. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's why I saw you before, because uh, when I first met you, I was like, you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> you bought things from her booth. Probably, yeah, yeah. you probably talked to my mom, you know, Ida Grosby. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's definitely been doing this for, uh, yeah, most of my life. <laughs> Well, why don't you show us some of your work or tell us what we have here in front of us? Um, we have some of my um, my own designs, Inspired Vision designs. Um, there's one with Sitting Bull. There's also one like of uh, one. Pueblo Woman. Um, there's also one of um, our logo, which is uh, the Native Soul Dreams girl, who has um, uh, basically, it's kind of like a black and white drawing. And then we have uh, the Navajo graffiti, which has the two dual um, women on each side, but it also has a Shaw mm -hmm. on it. Oh, and cool. then um, we have music too. Um, uh, Erica Badu, Frida Kahlo, uh, Billie Holiday, um, uh, Che Guevara, who a lot of people really, you know, really know. Mm -hmm. um, also turntables, the boom box. <laughs> from, you know, hip hop, 80s, you yeah. know, all the things that I grew up with and all the people who I um, really, you know, read about their lives and who I really mm -hmm. admired. And how are they made? Is that wood? Yeah, they're made out of wood. Mm -hmm. So they're, um, they're lightweight, you know, you can wear them and it's not, you know, dragging your, your ear down. Yeah, huh? that was sometimes a big book so of mine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, to find a medium. You get, like after a while, your earlobes are. Heavier. Yeah, and you have to take yeah. them off for a little bit <laughs> to let it rest. <laughs> It looks like, was it balsa ball. wood? Mm hmm Yeah, it's balsa, so that's very light. Yeah, so it's that really can be light. Like drag down. And I love big earrings. I, I've always loved them, and a lot of my friends do. That's like, you I know. do, too. If you have long hair, you have to wear big earrings. Mm -hmm. they don't yeah, show. you can't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> right. Are those hand-drawn? Yeah, all of this, um, they're hand-drawn, and um, I use a lot of graphic design in them, too. Wow. Wow. Also, so I, I, I put those two elements together, um, and a lot of... Uh, uh, even designs from my family who are potters too gave me some of their designs to use. Wow. So I like the color differentials, you know. Those are yeah. really unique. Really nice now, colors. How, how can someone buy these? I know, you know, you don't have a store, but they can uh, go to your website. Actually, or? I sell them at um, a couple of different boutiques. You can um, buy them here at Black and Brown um, in San Jose. Um, I mix bookstore in LA um, and also online, uh, www.myspace.com backslash inspired visions and, and they could see everything sorry. about you and your your whole group and everything yeah right? they can you know we have different models on there they're also doing things with their life a lot of them are um, girls who are um, uh, within the community um, activism and making change within um, the native community and as well as uh, uh, making changes for women in general mm -hmm. now how do you work with these women um, these women, um, basically, they're, they're helping me do a lot of promotions. Um, they wear my earrings out, you know. Um, they're also, if they're having an organization um, as far as, like, anything they're trying to do, um, I help promote them by, um, you know, putting their flyer on my page and getting the word out about what they're trying to speak about, whether it be through um, activism, whether it be through... Um, issues within the community um, that they've gone through themselves with domestic violence, with um, any drug and alcohol abuse, with anything that, um, uh, any issues within our community that affects us negatively or even positively. Mm -hmm. Now, you speak to uh, youth groups? Um, at the moment, we're trying to form something like that um, with uh, different women to go to mm -hmm. different, um, you know, boys and girls clubs. Like a speakers or, bureau type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also do workshops with these girls within fashion and um, within any creative arts, you know, mm -hmm. for an outlet them for, for them to kind of get their, um, uh, their talents across. Because um, everybody has a talent. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a gift. Um, you know, it's whether or not it's recognized and it's, you know, watered on to bloom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Everyone's born with a gift or yeah. several gifts. Or yeah, several. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it's just, I definitely know I've been, I started out, you know, uh, DJing, then went into uh, makeup and hair, being behind the scenes, and then 
working for a talent agency, uh, booking people for talent, and then, mm -hmm. you know, coming into this. You What's know. your model to you? Yeah, for, yeah. for, for a good five minutes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. What's I enough? Like, yeah, you <laughs> said you worked with uh, preparing other women that were going to be modeling? Yeah, I worked for, for um, a company called IMTA. It's an inter international modeling talent association. Mm -hmm. And what they would do is they would have uh, two times a year, um, LA and New York, they would fly um, a team of us, uh, hair and makeup people um, and fashion stylists and um, uh, uh, coach, uh, actors mm -hmm. and uh, coaching act actors and stuff uh, to prepare these people for uh, somewhat of a competition for all of these um, um, agents to come out and look for them. And so they would be, you know, we would give them the skills and what they needed to, you know, present themselves in order for um, these people to get hired within the industry, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, to get callbacks and, you know, mm -hmm. for them to actually move out to L.A. or New York to start their career. Show them how to present themselves. Yeah, physically. and it, it mm -hmm. is. And um, it's more, it's, you know, it's, I'd say it's about, you know, 25% that. And it's, you know, it has a lot to do with your communication skills and how you mm -hmm. deal with people, you know, and um, really how you want to be treated and how, you know, the, just that, you know, that right, you know. Yeah, a lot of it's the attitude. It you know, is. It's nobody wants to work with the diva. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. Because, <laughs> you know, when I have my portfolios and I update it, I always, you know, go for that girl who, who really is, you know, um, I like just being around her, mm -hmm. you know, because she's funny and, you know, she may be, you know, I can see the potential of that, you know, going somewhere else with somebody who just is just drop dead gorgeous and oh my gosh, but you hear her speak and, yeah. you know, that may change mm -hmm. about her, you know, mm -hmm. and it's how long do you, you know, really want to put up with that before it gets to be a problem. Mm -hmm. And what are your long term goals? Um, I think just to be able to travel the world and, you know, sell my art, but also to, you know, stop in each city that I go along to to find out um, what the people are about there, you know, and to um, have, you know, to share their story, you know, to share my story mm -hmm. with them as well as have them share their story with me and to kind of like um, really just inspire people to get up and really go for their dreams and really take that chance and that risk to really make it happen and that there are ways of getting it done and there are people who will support you if you ask. So it basically you're selling your art and you're also trying to get a message mm -hmm. out. Yeah, that's why I call it Inspired Visions mm -hmm. because um, I think everybody has those. I think everybody has a vision of what mm -hmm. they would like their life to be like or the world around them mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, dreams for their children, mm -hmm. you know, for their family. And um, the one thing I, th I think that lacks in that is being inspired to do it. Yeah, or not knowing how to do it. Yeah, yeah. or not having the means or yeah. the community the or resources. the support or groups. Yeah. Because I think once you find that group that you fit in, that is like-minded, that you are, mm -hmm. that you will grow and that there's no stopping you. Yeah. So w through your artwork, do you see yourself being a designer? I mean, yeah, eventually I want to go into um, fashion design mm -hmm. and, and go through that and uh, influencing the world within clothing too, you mm -hmm. know. But I also wanted to, you know, um, know what they, what I was thinking or what, you know, inspired me while mm -hmm. I was making this. Or mm -hmm. maybe I, you know, somebody was telling me a story and I was like, oh, you know, I could picture it in my head and I wrote it down, you know, within a drawing and this is why. I drew it and this is why I put this together because I came here and I saw this and I thought this, you know, mm -hmm. how it all comes together. Wow. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm so impressed because you're so young and to have had the vision, mm -hmm. which you do. Yeah. I, feel, vision I feel much older this. than she's 14. She's 14. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's that a little is, bit older than 14. I do congratulate <laughs> you because you're an excellent role model, the, the kind we need for our youth. Yeah. And I, I think I've, I've definitely been through a lot my, myself, too. You know, I've dealt with a lot of issues that, as Native people, um, we don't talk about. You know, I've been, you know, through domestic violence. You know, I've been through, you know, um, drug use. I've been through, you know, emotional abuse and, you know, everything that, you know, as a young woman growing up, um, I think does go through and doesn't realize that there's many, many, many other women that go through it, but yeah. don't speak about it. Mm -hmm. 
I know? think what happens, with, especially with women of color and you know people of color in general, is you know our society, not our society, but the regular society, you know, the white society, mm -hmm. tends to um, portray us as not beautiful people, and we have two perfect examples of indigenous women here that are beautiful oh, and, and okay. inspiring. <laughs> I, I just think, okay, I yeah, it, no. yeah, I think it definitely. Um, um, I just want you know the women that I work with, the young girls, um, to share their story too. You know, to help that's other important. people. It's I important, think, you know, yeah, for, that they know that you they're can, not alone. That's yeah. right. Yeah, and, and I you think, can accomplish mm -hmm. this at any point in your mm -hmm. life. Yeah, and I'm a single mother. You mm -hmm. know, I'm you know planning on going back to school and having this at the same time. You know, and um, you know I this. I have many other goals too, you know, and um, that it shouldn't stop anybody right. from That's not doing right. that because there is ways, there is support, there is programs that you know, okay. and um, I think these women just need resources, and they need um, you know uh, just a, a phone number to call, you know, right. for to talk to somebody to find out how they can get this done, how they can get that, you know. They need the confidence in themselves, yeah. and I think think that's one of the part things of this, that you're portraying yeah. here. Part mm -hmm. of this, you know, yeah. portraying yourself as beautiful, which you guys are, and wearing your jewelry and everything mm -hmm. like that, and, and knowing how to present yourself and talk and to yeah. people and professional people is, is a really big yeah, thing. I think, yeah. yeah, I think that definitely um, is, a, is a big part of it, and I think also to um, uh, a balance within um, their spiritual life, too. Yeah. I think that's a huge part of it, and um, you know, where I definitely had to go through a lot to really um, have a balance within myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know? We tend to lose a, a little bit of our well, our culture and, you know, sp living in this society. It, yeah. 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 And, Especially uh, when you're pretty much the only one that a lot of people meet that is the yeah. only Native person. It's kind of funny because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. when I was going through school, it was like, I'm like all alone here. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> no one you thought know, the same way I would think. And it's and only it's now like, that, like, I'm 25 now that I'm meeting other, like, Native people that yeah. have been living out here for a long time. And yeah. I wasn't aware of it in that, you know. Like, yeah. if I think sometimes it's just comforting to see somebody else that looks like you. Yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> just, you know, when you're walking in the grocery store and I'll pass someone and I'll be like, should I ask her? Like, because I'm like, I know she's native. Like I know, you know. Like I want to <laughs> ask her, you know, yeah. because yeah. there's just that, you know, certain something that you know, mm -hmm. you know, like you recognize each other. Yeah. You know, you That's see each right. other. Yeah. yeah, and I, you know, I just I value you being here and saying the thing, the message you're giving to our youth and other ladies, because, you know, th they should never feel that this is the end. It's there's always you don't have yeah. to be there if you don't want to be there. Mm -hmm. There's always alternatives. There's always that support system. Yeah. I yeah. just want to give them another way, mm -hmm. another choice. That's that's what I I, I think, and especially um, within the urban world right now, um, our values I I know really conflict conflict mm -hmm. with that. Oh, you definitely. Know? Yeah. And that's a, definitely a hard thing that I've had to balance within my life living out here and and, and having so much emphasis put on that and not. Um, especially with the like, in fashion in these models, we see all of these models, and you know we know their names, but I never hear them speak. Mm -hmm. I never hear anything they have to say. I never read something in an interview about them. All I see them is go down a runway once, twice, and mm -hmm. ch -ch 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 -ch, all over the magazines, yeah. and that's it. You know, and I think that with these women who do have that, you know, uh, they won the genetic lottery. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's but. Right. But what are they going to do with it? I think everyone's won the genetic lottery. Mm -hmm. You just have to find mm -hmm. y your talent mm -hmm. within you. You know, it could be this, it could be that, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. You just have to find your place in life. Yeah, and I think what yeah. a purpose is a huge. Once you have that purpose, mm -hmm. it the world changes for you. Yeah, it de it definitely does, and you you don't see things in the same light that you did before. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so we have our jewelry, and then when can we look forward to the clothing line? Um, hopefully, I'm thinking within the next like three months. Okay. I uh, hope to get that done and um, have that going. You know, and um, we're actually going to be at Gathering of Nations this year too, in April. So we'll be having a booth there too. Wow, that's yeah. wonderful. Could buy some of that, that new stuff. Yeah, and um, <laughs> also we'll we'll be um, in combination with. Um, um, you had him on a couple weeks ago, Chris, from um, Antithesis. Yes. Yeah, so he'll be joining us too. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, Chris is a good guy. Yeah, yeah, and he'll be helping us out, and it's like, you know, we have that, you know, male 
role model and as well as a female role model mm -hmm. that you know can give the youth a oh, different yeah. choice you to need that balance and Chris mm -hmm. is a very good uh, very strong role model for the yeah, youth. Yeah definitely he, he lives by example. Yeah he does. Yeah. That's another thing too is yes. we have to live by example and, yeah. and, and this urban society it's really hard to do but we have to do it. Yeah because not many people want to talk about you know <laughs> what they're not doing but you know yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, what parting message would you like to give to our youth? Um, I say that uh, in the darkest times, you know, that you feel alone, um, there are many other people out there like you, and that there is hope, and there is, there is uh, you know, in numbers that we can change things, mm -hmm. and that it will happen, and that it just, mad it just um, comes down to whether you want to do it today or tomorrow. You know, whether you want to start that journey to really, you know, um, go into your dream and what you want to do, and not just dream, but dreams. Do it. Mm -hmm. You can, right. can accomplish it. Yeah, and it, it, it is possible. It's how big you want it to be. And, um, this world is made upon those people, yeah. you know, who, who saw the world in a different way and, and went towards it and made those changes in order to make it happen. And they didn't do it alone, though. You know, yeah. they had that support and that, you know, other people who thought like them too, to, to mm -hmm. come in. Right. Kind of like our show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still. I've been watching your, your <laughs> show for like, I say the past two years and, you yeah. know, I love it. I get to see Thank so you. many different speakers on here yeah. that I've been able to learn from. Yeah. Yeah. We, we were pleased when you wrote to us and we said, oh, she has to come on. Yeah, I know. I was like, you know, I might as well, I'm just going to write them. So I'll see what <laughs> see? they say. You know? See, so I'm glad you all did. of you guys write yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your yeah. story. And, and thank we, you for having me on your show. I greatly appreciate it. It's our honor. Yeah. And we'll have to have you back to yeah. do a whole fashion show here. Can we get her yeah. website up there, line. MySpace again? Yeah, just so that way if people missed it, we can get it up on the screen again. And I want to keep you all this here and start doing the Christmas <laughs> shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we also have gift certificates me, too they can buy from, oh, right from the site. Mm -hmm. so they can just mail it out or um, email it to you know, their friends, and they just have the code wow. to punch it in. Oh, and that's great. It you just off. print it out, and that's yeah, it? Just oh, print it that out. is cool. That, huh? The power of the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That is so cool, because yeah. you don't have to go. No, you, you don't, don't have, have to, to pick it out, too, because yeah. it's kind of hard to say, ah, she might like this one. No, but she might like that one. I, I'll I, let her pick it. You know why it. I want them to pick <laughs> it out? Because if mm -hmm. I pick it out, I end up saying, I want to keep it. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm always like that too. I'm like, should I? Uh -huh. really, but she, I, she probably likes all four of them. I'll just yeah, give it to you. Know? Yeah. That's why I do it for my friends. I just sent out the gift certificate. You guys get to yeah, pick your own, and you know, idea. I'll just ship it off to you guys. Well, thank you so much. It's been I a pleasure. A sure. couple things. There's a couple of powwows coming up. There New is. Year's Eve. Yes, New Year's Eve. There's powwow. always the one at Fremont High School. Yeah. Um, that's a nice one. Mm -hmm. And I know the um, uh, Alliance. Yeah, the Alliance uh, will be out, dinner, and yes. they'll be selling it there. They also have the uh, the Christmas dinner yeah, too. Yeah, they, they have the Christmas and party for the yeah. kids. So you guys watch out for that. That's coming up, but um, there's one uh, powwow DQ as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they're putting on one this year. I guess I think that's something new. I want to thank Pablo for providing Native Voice TV with all the sage. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Uh, Kwasi what made a uh, sage run recently and brought some to us, but we really appreciate Pablo for helping yeah. us out for, for the last three years, actually. You can never have yeah, enough of sage. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, send us words of wisdom from you. Words of wisdom to everyone, all the different nations, from Alaska to South America to Chile, everywhere, unite. Because if we're all like this, we can't be broken. If we're this, we can be broken very easily. Support each other. Advocate indigency, you know, being indigenous. Help your brothers everywhere south of the border. Recognize each other. Support each other. Put your hand out and help each other. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. And your plans for the holidays? Um, spending with my family, my little boy, and you know, here in San Jose. What's his name? Dylan. Oh, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a lot of family here? Yeah, I do. I actually have a lot of family um, here um, and back home too, also in New Mexico. Yeah, so a lot of family everywhere. 
I love New Mexico. It's so pretty there. My mother lives there okay. in Albuquerque. Uh, best yeah. sunsets. Best sunsets. Oh, beautiful. Or beautiful. The, the wood burning in the winter. That's what I miss. And mm -hmm. I already have my reservations at my brother's house for the Gathering of Nations. Yeah, book them the early. <laughs> Because they will be booked. And, well, I uh, figure I'll just take a sleeping bag, right? Yeah. <laughs> Any yeah, place you know, on the floor. <laughs> you got to book it now. Southwest knows. Southwest knows. They Southwest know we come. Southwest is good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll cut us a deal this time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I went for Indian Market Days in Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. I figured those are the best times yeah, to they, visit, right? They <laughs> are. Time. I remember going to the Indian Market with my mom and her selling there, too, and, mm -hmm. like, everybody out there and other stuff laid out. That was, well, you know, it rained this year. Mm -hmm. So it really, oh, yeah, yeah, it rained, which was different. You know, the vendors were mm -hmm. trying to cover everything very up, true, and yeah. you know, they have very valuable things out yeah. there, so Can't they had to cover up. Like but it was nice. It was still nice, and uh, enjoyed it. There's some good performers it. there. I mean, they actually oh, performed yeah. in the rain. No, that was oh, that was a different. That oh, was, a was that a different? Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah. was that Native Roots concert that was in Santa Fe. That yeah. was fantastic, and it poured. Mm -hmm. But you know, we still yeah. we're out there. They'll, they'll, they'll still be out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Yeah. So again, thank you. Um, Powwow's coming up, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, we'll be there. So come out and see us. Have a good, good night. night.